Next, a grocery store is giving away gift cards to customers as they check out. They'll receive a gift card with an amount from $5 to $50. We will use some random numbers below to generate who the winners are. Let the integers 0 and 1 represent gift card winners and 2 through 9 represent customers who did not win a gift card. Each of the 20 rows represents a random 5 customers. So we know at this point that 0 and 1 represent winners, where 2 through 9 represent people who did not win. So at this point, we need to go ahead and figure out who won and who lost. So I would go ahead and circle, underline, or even highlight the winners here. Using the rules of this giveaway, based on how the numbers were coded, what is the probability of a customer winning? Well, 0 through 1 represents someone winning, and 2 through 9 represents someone not winning. So the probability of someone winning is 2 out of the 10 numbers, which is 20%. Don't be tricked. 0 and 1 could just be 1 and 2 when we look at the numbers 1 through 10. Since 0 is at the bottom, there's actually 10 numbers when you talk about 0 through 9. So 0 and 1 is 2 numbers out of 0 through 9. In the simulation above, what proportion of the time did exactly 2 out of the 5 customers win? And when it comes to questions like this, you have to be careful. Make sure to mark exactly who won and who lost. And if you did this, you'll see that in your simulation, exactly 5 times 2 out of 5 customers won. And this is 5 out of 20 times. We are looking for the proportion of times that exactly 2 customers won. So the answer is 25%. Finally, when it comes to any simulation, we might not always get it right, but we could improve our simulation. To improve this simulation, what could be done? And the answer is more trials. If we increase the number of trials, we'll always get a better simulation. So more trials would give us a more accurate idea of exactly how many times two out of five customers would win.